Hi guys, today we're going to be recreating crazy TikTok nail designs. I love to do these videos every once in a while because I'm not very good about keeping up with trends. So usually you guys will tag me in stuff or I will come across it and I usually just save it for a video like this where I can do a bunch all in one. For this first design, I of course, as well as many of you have probably seen this really cool drawn style nail art and I've seen a bunch of really cool takes on it, but the one I wanna recreate today is by salonboss.co on TikTok. They mixed aquarium nails and the pop art drawn looking nails and I just felt like they were an extra level of cool. It's not often I do an aquarium nail. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time that I put liquid in a nail, but also I've been seeing Evie from Long Hair Pretty Nails do it so much recently. I felt like I wanted to take a stab at it. So wish me luck. So to just give myself a lot of surface area right at the beginning, I'm gonna use some tapered squat. Often. I'm gonna use some tapered square tips. I do have a peel off base coat on my nail because I want to keep this nail. I don't think I have a single fully intact aquarium nail that I've ever been able to save without having to like chop in half when I take it off. So I wanna be able to keep it kind of like a little snow globe, you know? Now I'm just taking some gel and I'm really just trying to even out my nail and the tip. I'm not really concerned about any strength or anything like that. It's really just so that it's mostly all just, you know, flat and that everything is sealed up between my natural nail and the tip because the absolute worst thing would be for some oil to like leak between the tip and my, I don't know, it'd be bad. All right, I'm gonna wipe the sticky layer off. For the top, I needed something that had a super high apex so we have a ton of room to fill with the liquid. So I got this one from a prey. And my hope is that it just kind of like sticks on a little. I think I might have to end up filing a little bit, but kind of like that. But I'm not doing this full length because I need like a little opening. So I think I'm gonna go to about here and do a coffin shape. And I'm kind of just trying to eye it a little bit, probably around here. I'll revisit the tip in a little bit, but now let's just get the base all ready. So I'm gonna file the edges and the top to just make sure everything is perfectly smooth. Since these are like drawn looking nails, everything needs to be super smooth and matte, you know, like very one dimensional. So I'm actually going to go with kind of like a holiday theme for this. So I'm going to take a light brown for the background. I'm probably going to either put like gingerbread or candy cane chunky glitters. I have not decided yet. I'm going to have to mix for my darker shade for this. Just some of that and a bit of a darker brown. So the design that I'm going to paint like over everything kind of goes up the side of the shiny part right here. So I'll probably paint the reflection on afterwards, but right now I'm going to paint the shadow. I feel like the way that I have my lighting here almost kind of is like a guide. I'm gonna do a second coat on that. All right, now this is the part where I'm nervous. It's putting this over top. I think I might need to file down the sides a tiny bit just cause this does not like fit naturally. Okay, I think we have it all ready. I am going to just paint some gel on, kind of, of course, focusing more on the edges. And then now I'm going to pop it on. Ooh, I'm nervous. I have to kind of like hold it down and like push it on. Like it's not gonna just like seal perfectly on its own. So I'm gonna hold it down a bit, kind of, I mean, a little tight, I guess, and cure it that way. And here it is. I have a little bit of spillage, but I think other than that, it's sealed. I did go ahead and seal around the edges a little bit more because I need to file these sides off so that it looks like one piece. And I'm a little nervous to do that. I don't think I've ever done like a super successful aquarium nail before. So I really want to do good this time. Then I need to make sure this end is completely even with each other. That way when I put on the seal, there's no wonkiness. Although I did not just think about dust getting in there. Hmm. You know what, it's okay. This opening is actually pretty big. There's actually enough room to like 
get up in there. Well, this is probably a much better solution than what my first thought was, which was to go get my vacuum and try to vacuum it out. All right, that'll probably look a little bit better once we have the oil in, but I'm so happy with it. Wow. Thankfully, I have these glitters from Dumb Blonde Glitter. So I was thinking about maybe using these peppermints if they will fit. They're gonna be a little bit heavier than a typical glitter, and I still want them to be able to move around. In here, I think there's some Christmas trees, and then I could also do like little tinsel kinda, and then there's like little gingerbread men in this one. Again, those are all like kind of big though. I love those peppermint look and they're so cute. They have like a little heart in the middle. What a nice touch. I think I'm gonna mainly just use these peppermints because it does go with the design that I'm wanting to draw on. Before we do that though, let's just make the little seal for the end of the nail. It's probably a little bit too big, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to cure that. Okay, let's fill it up. I'm excited. I'm hoping again that these aren't too big. If they are, we can change plan, but I really like them. Okay, that one totally good. Okay, that one good too. How many should I put in there? Like two? Cause she didn't really put that many. I think she put one or two in each. So I guess I'll do that. So I'm gonna put our two peppermints. And then now for the baby oil, which is always the most stressful part for me because I'm just prone to making a mess 24 seven, but I have it and I have a little pipette. I'm going to suck it up in. Does that say it expired in 2020? <laughs> uh, it's fine though, right? Like it's fine. Then I'm gonna try to fit this kind of like down in. I really don't want to make a mess. Okay, ready? Can I fit it kind of in? <gasps> okay, kind of. Oh my gosh. Then how much should I leave? I'm gonna just leave a little. Oh, all right, that's full. I should probably take a little bit out actually so we have an air bubble. Okay, like that. Okay, perfect. Now this is where I'm like really nervous because obviously oil is the worst thing you can do for adhesion. So I'm gonna try to wipe off all of this super good. All right, so I'm gonna put the piece on now. So I'm just going to line this and stick it on. Now I'm gonna cure it. I'm not fully convinced this is like 100% sealed. So I'm just gonna go around and I can clean up anything later. I'd rather have to clean up some gel than to find out that it was not actually sealed. I'm gonna file the edges around the seal, but it seems to be good if these would move. Hello, hello, we'll see. I'm not fully convinced that this part right here is like completely sealed because maybe some oil was on it. So I'm going to try to wipe this off and make it completely oil free and then just, you know, do a little top coat or something. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I'm sad this will not move. Like there's definitely enough room for those little peppermints to float around in there, but I think they're like wedged in a corner or something like that. I don't know, or it's like too sticky or something. I don't know what's happening, but I wish they would move. Maybe if I shake it around really hard or something. Maybe? No, they just like are stuck. Oh, <gasps> I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. You see that? Moved. All right, well, we'll work on it. Let's do the design. So I'm just going to try to go with what my first idea for the snail was and what I had originally drew out, which is a candy cane that basically goes up and around the cuticle. I felt like that would look kind of cool. I think I'm gonna give this a matte top coat to kind of just like level it all out and so I can see a little bit better. Oh no, I think I have a leak. It's like a, just a straight hole. I don't know quite how that happened. I think I contained the leak. I'm gonna start out with some white and I'm gonna just do the whole outline with white. I'm trying to leave enough room to outline everything in that thick black and do any of the like big chunky shadows and stuff. All right, so there's that. I feel like it's a good start. Then I'm gonna use red and then I think I'm gonna make it a little difficult on myself. And instead of white in the candy cane, use pink. That way I can do white highlights. This is definitely not gonna be perfect because I'm going to outline literally every single piece even in between with black. All right, now I'm going to outline everything. Oh. 
All right, so pretty much the outline is done. I'm just going to add a couple more thin highlights and stuff feel like you ended up not being able to see the shadow underneath the candy cane at all. I kind of want to do like a square. And then for the white, I'm like a little conflicted on what to do exactly to make it look, you know, like the pop art. I think I'm going to do a highlight still on the nail and down the side a little bit. All right, look at that. So I think I'm going to just test and see if highlights on the candy cane look good or not. They might not but we'll see. Like that, maybe? I haven't really been able to get the peppermints to move again, unfortunately. Maybe I'll just like shake around my hand violently later and see if I can get them to move. But I'm gonna put a top coat on now. I'm really excited. I hope it looks good. I'm pretty happy with the aquarium nail outside of the pieces inside not really moving. I feel like this is my best like, you know, liquid encapsulation so far. All right, and there we are. I wish the peppermints would move, but at least the liquid moves. But other than that, I think the candy cane and the drawn part look okay. I'm happy with it otherwise. Definitely not as good as hers, but I feel like it was a solid try. This next design I thought was genius, and I feel like this video deserves way more views. It's from DZ.NailOfficial on TikTok, and it's a blurred lights background with some snowflakes and the way they did it is just such a good idea and it's so simple. It's probably one of the like easiest, coolest effects I've seen someone do. And as you guys can probably see, I'm going to be theming this video a little bit towards, you know, like winter and the holidays and stuff like that. Not like full on, but just a little sprinkle of it. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna go with a long oval shape for this nail. I think this is an extra, extra long pipe shaped nail from E Nail Couture. Little bit of prepping primer and a little bit of extend gel. Not too much. There we go. It looked like their gel was a little bit like translucent. So I'm going to use these three. These are all jellies. These are pretty pigmented. So I'm just gonna try to do a couple, you know, like light wipes here and there. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to cure that. For all of my powders, I'm going to be using these ones. I think they're from KP Pigments, but you get so much product for such a small price because I think they started off these powders for like car pigments, for like liquid wraps and stuff like that. So for cars, you need a ton of product, but for nails, you don't need that much. So I went on and I ordered a bunch of this stuff for not that much, which was really cool. So I'm gonna just use a couple of these like random ones. Some of these are like a little bit more like flakies and stuff. Like this one looks so pretty. I don't know if this one's a shift. For sure this purple one, it's a different shift. I'll have to order more. So since of course we're just gonna be like layering these, the powder on there does not need to be perfect. I think my color is also a teeny tiny bit more saturated than theirs, but that's okay. So I'm gonna start off with this one. You need just the smallest amount. There we go. Ooh, so pretty. And then we just top coat in circles, which seems easy enough. From what I can see, it all looks pretty even. So I'm gonna cure that. And we'll try to wipe off everything else. Okay, I see the vision. That already actually looks so cool. It did look like they top coated the entire thing every single time afterwards. So I'm gonna do that as well. Maybe to just make sure that there aren't a bunch of like bumps here and there sticking out or maybe so that the powder sticks well every time. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do it. This does feel a little bit tedious for one nail, but I imagine this is actually a pretty quick design to do on like a full set of nails, especially I know going into the holidays, a lot of people want, you know, like really cool holidays holiday sets. I feel like this is something that could be super easy for people to do at home or I feel like pretty easy for nail techs to do also. Like it might just take a little bit of extra time but it's not really hard to do. It's really hard not to get too much pigment. I feel like you just need that like tiny bit but out of the bags that's kind of hard. Maybe I'll repot them. I feel like this powder covered so well I cannot see <laughs> where I previously had little dots. That is looking pretty cool. I think I'm gonna do one more layer of powder because I want a couple more of the circles to overlap. It's definitely a little hard to see, but I'm hoping that when I put that matte top coat over like they did, it looks exactly like theirs. <laughs> 
And then finally, I wanted a warmer tone powder because the other ones were more like blue white. So I wanted, you know, like an opposite. So I have a yellow one here. This one's from Ellen Nailed It. And I think this one's even harder to see where all of my previous circles were. All right, so I'm gonna just wipe the rest of this off. Hopefully it should be all good, I think so. I feel like I missed a good few spots. I like missed this part and this part pretty much entirely there. Okay, I think I need to do one more layer. I don't feel like it'll hurt the design in any way. Okay, I think that's a lot better, but let's really see with a matte top coat. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, it does look pretty cool. I think I went a little overboard with all of the circles, but that's okay. Instead of white for the snowflakes, I'm actually going to use this silver gel. I think it'll look nice. And my snowflakes probably aren't gonna be as intricate, but let's give it a go. All right, I actually love how the snowflakes came out. So now I'm just gonna do some little dots. And here's how this looks. This is so pretty. I love it. Would love to have a full set like this. I think this is one of my favorite designs in a long time, especially for winter. The next design I'm going to be doing is this one from Tim's Nail Studio on TikTok. And this video is definitely up there with the amount of times I've been tagged in a single video. Obviously, we're a little bit past Halloween, but for this one, I'm going to do a bit of a different take on it that hopefully will look just as cool. I don't know, we'll have to see. Hopefully what I have in my head, I can sculpt out. I've already put my tip on. I'm going to do a coffin shape because for this, I'm going to do a window, like winter night sky type of window. I think it'll look cool. I'm hoping it looks as cool as theirs. I'm actually just going to start with a base coat on this nail. And I have those same like metal pieces, although these seem kind of big. That's okay, we'll make it work. And I'm doing the base coat just so they stay while I put the acrylic over. I think I'm gonna have to use a smaller moon. I don't think that one is gonna work. Since I'm not doing a super long nail, I'm gonna have to use some smaller pieces. Why won't this Lego Lego please? Hello? That's not what I wanted. Okay, hopefully that's good because I need a little bit of space down here and up here. And then I'm gonna try to take just a couple of these little itty bitty caviar beads to look like distant stars. Now I'm gonna carry it. Now we're gonna do just some clear acrylic. The next nail is acrylic also, so I'm not just wasting all that monomer. I'm going to use my Valentino acrylic today. We are not going to encapsulate that hair. Who did that? Nail all built up. Let's do some filing. Hopefully there aren't too many air bubbles. I can see a couple, but you know, maybe it'll add to the effect. Also, if you were the person that suggested these, thank you. These are shop paper towels, which last so much longer than regular paper towels. And I end up using less because I feel like these just like are so much better. I even cut up a bunch to use as lint-free wipes because I thought I was out, but then I found some more. But I really like them. They're very like stretchy and absorbent and they can be like reused within reason. I really like them. So if you suggested that, thank you. all clean and ready to go. I think I'm going to use this blue for behind. I'm assuming they painted underneath so that the gold and everything wouldn't get covered up opposed to putting it on the front. 
See, is that gonna be too bright? No, I think it looks good. It is a bit of a darker blue, but I really like it. I feel like it goes with the gold really well. That's how that looks. I'm gonna cure it now. And then I'm going to top coat this so it's not sticky. And then I know for theirs, they used black because obviously they're doing a coffin, but I kind of want it to look a little bit like a wall you know, kind of with the window. So I think I'm going to use like maybe a nude type of shade, maybe a brown, or I could use a white. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I'll use white. It'll be a good little difference. I'm gonna kind of do this like it would be an opposite French tip. Then for the bottom, I think I'm just going to do a regular flat line. Now that I have the white all done, I do want to do all of the accents in gold to match the little pieces. So I'm going to actually make myself a gold. So I'm taking a little bit of a thicker gel and then I'll be mixing it with this Akira Sky Rub-On Powder. Might need more of the pigment, but we'll see. I wanna make it super, super pigmented, kind of like the silver gel that we have from Sissy. I want it like that, but gold. And that might've actually been too much pigment. I am going to do something a bit similar with the design framing. So we're pretty much done. Pretty, there are a lot of air bubbles though. It looks all right. Wish there wasn't as many air bubbles, but that's okay. Now our last thing we have to do is put a little charm and I have these reindeer and this snowflake. I think I'm gonna use a snowflake. Although I wish the snowflake was gold. What looks better, that or that? I kind of think the little reindeer just because it's gold. I'm gonna actually go see if I have anything else. I might not, but it's worth a try. All right, so we're actually scrapping both of those and we're gonna go with these. I found these while I was looking through my stuff and they're so pretty. Rhinestone glue. Even though it's like not gonna necessarily go with the theme, I think this is gonna look way cooler. Which way? Mm. Oh yeah. And there we are, I love it. I'm not sure if it looks like a window to me, but it still looks nice. Next up is this design from Z Acrylics and it is crazy. It's going to be super tedious, but it's one of those things where you do a lot of work and then you do a big reveal and I love those sort of things. If there's anything I'm good at, it's spending two hours on a single nail. So let's try and tackle this. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a bit intimidated by this design, so I'm a bit nervous. So I'm going to do a long stiletto because why not? I switch to a bit of a smaller acrylic brush so that I don't overdo it. And I'm going to start the middle kind of like right there. That seems good. I'm gonna just make sure it's all rounded off. I'm gonna flatten it a little bit. I already feel like these are gonna be thick nails. All right, that looks good for our starting bead. I am not going to go with their same color scheme. I'm gonna do something of my own. I'm going to do a red, pink, purple color palette and I'm going to mix in some of this gold because I ended up having to make way more than I anticipated because originally it was too pigmented and it wasn't really curing right so I'd add more top coat and it was just a whole thing. So I ended up with a bit more than I had intended. Now I'm just going around with my red for the first layer. All right, looks good to me. I don't think we'll end up seeing too much like little, you know, streaks and stuff like that, but I'm gonna just clean it up anyway. And then I'm gonna cure it. I'll be curing it every single time I put gel on. I think I'll probably end up spending more time with my hand in the lamp today than anything else. And then now we basically encapsulate that and put a little bit around the edges. I think like that. I'm gonna paint some of this gold on. I might end up doing some double layers of the gold just because like I said, I had to thin it out and you don't want to do too thick of a layer, otherwise it won't be able to cure. But I feel like the gold will be a really nice addition. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do in terms of putting the gold down. I might put the gold down and then put another color like directly on top of it instead of putting a layer in between. Just so that way there's like maybe a couple extra layers because theirs turned out super cool, but I kind of felt there like there was a little bit too many gaps. So I'm gonna try my hardest to do thin acrylic layers, but when you're doing it that many times, it does get a bit tedious and I tend, you know, to get a little impatient, just a little. I also might end up doing like two layers of one color, but just like a super thin acrylic layer in between. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm just kind of going with this concept. I'm not really trying to make it look exactly like a rose, although it would be cool if it did look like a rose. 
I just want some sort of cool pattern design, you know. And you guys know I love file reveals. They're like my absolute favorite thing. And this is a big trust the process that I feel like no matter what, it should look at least cool. Like if I was really trying to get it to look like a rose, I could be end up being disappointed in the end because it's really hard to predict the outcome on like every layer. But I feel like this is one of those things that's just gonna look cool no matter what, which I love. And I love revealing things with the file, 10 out of 10. All right, so obviously I've run out of colors. So I'm going to need to dip into the blues. I'm gonna try to keep it just with the blues, not have to go into greens. I think I'll be fine. We only have a little bit to go, but We'll see. Definitely looking super chunky. I figure I'm just going to deal right now and just file it afterwards. It's fine. I probably could have been a little bit more um, sparse with the acrylic, but it's okay. <laughs> wow, okay, I am done with the acrylic and the gel. That was quite a journey. Do you guys wanna know how long just doing that took me? Okay, I'll tell you, like an hour and a half just to do that, mainly because of the curing time. But now I'm going to file this down. This is going to be some intense filing, but I'm super excited to see it like all together and smoothed out. If for some reason you counted how many layers I did, please let me know. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready to see? Of course, full reveal once we put on the top coat, but it's looking pretty cool so far. Definitely not a rose, I don't think. More of like a layered picture. I don't know, it does look cool though. Let's do the top coat, so cool. And it only took me 20 minutes to file actually. With considering how thick it was, that's not bad. Pretty cool. I feel like I probably could have done a little bit better at the starting point. I should have built that up a little bit higher. But other than that, I feel like from here to here is pretty cool. For our last design, I'm going to do a design I don't think I've ever done before, but I really want to do because I saw so many people do it last year, but for some reason I just never did. It is this ice cracking effect and it's so easy to do. And I feel like the outcome is just so cool. And I never did it when it was like trending last year. I'm pretty sure it'll be trending again this year. But what jogged my memory of it was this specific video from saddler up nails hopefully that's it i can never tell exactly when it's just you know like one big word all lowercase i also figured that if you are recently more into nails this is a super easy design that you can do so let's get into these icy nails i'm going to use a full cover tip for this and i'm back and forth on whether i want to put the tip on and then do the crinkling or if i want to do it before i think i'm actually going to do it before Four, because I think that I'll be able to get it a little bit lower that way and that way I'm not having it all up on my skin oozing out. So I'm gonna start off with my prep for this. Just a little bit, you know. And then I'm going to use top coat to do the ice effect because it won't cure sticky. I'm gonna take it to probably about here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room for where my actual nail is gonna go. It's okay if that little bit overlaps though, it's all gonna be clear. I got my plastic wrap. I feel like there's not much you can do to like crinkle it by itself. Kind of got to do it on the nail. Hopefully that's good. I feel like this is something you can't really mess up, but I, on the other hand, would probably find a way. We'll try that. Okay, moment of truth. Ooh, it's stuck on there. Uh-oh. Okay. Ooh. I thought it wasn't going to come off. Uh -huh. All right, so there it is. I feel like it could be a little better. I think I'm gonna do it a second time. I think it's just kind of hard to crinkle it on a little bit since it is a small nail, but I kind of feel like it's not giving like shattered ice at all. Maybe I'll put a little bit more gel. Okay, let's see this time. Uh-oh. Oh no. I didn't even feel like I really got it in there that much. 
There we are. That's a little bit better. Still not super great. I feel like there's a lot of curved cracks, I guess, when it would need to be more straight, but it'll do. So I'll just put a little bit of gel now so we can adhere it to my nail. All right, you know what? I like it. I love things that are super easy to do that give a really nice design. I was kind of thinking it would be a little fun to maybe do a blue ombre coming down here just for a little bit. Just kind of, you know, cold ice. You guys get it. So I'm just gonna put literally just a tiny bit of blue here. And then I'm gonna just fade everything down. Oh, you know what I'll use that I haven't used in a while? My blooming gel. I will put this on my brush to sort of feather everything out. And then I'm gonna do another bit down here of this blue. I actually had another blue I was gonna fade it with, but this one seems to be doing the job just fine. Then I wanna add just a little bit of glitter to this. I feel like it would just go together so well. All right, I'm just going to add a top coat to put our glitter on. I feel like that looks nice too. Like very simple, but very self-explanatory, I guess. Then I'm just going to finally seal everything off with a top coat. This is a simple design, but I really like it. Lots of options. There's so many things you can do with it. I feel like this is going to be very popular again this year probably more so in like a month or so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep tagging me in designs you want to see me recreate or just really cool designs. I love seeing them or also your own designs. I also love seeing those. Let me know which nail you thought came out best and which one was your favorite. I actually think the like camera lights blurred nail is my favorite just because also those snowflakes came out pretty good if I do say so myself. So I feel very accomplished on that. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like if you want to see more of these TikTok recreation videos, and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!